Hey guys, it's Dave here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk about Rocket Lab's reusability efforts, and I've seen a bunch of chatter online from people thinking that uh, we're in a lot of trouble here, we've had two failures, maybe it's time to start rethinking the whole reusability strategy, maybe it's time to abandon helicopter air capture. So I just wanted to address these questions and uh, right up front, my answer is no. <laughs> it's not time to worry. Uh, it's not time to change the strategy. I have a few thoughts on why this is I'd like to share, but if you just wanted to quickly find out whether I have any concerns around their electron reusability after these two failures, the answer is no. So there you have it. But let's dive into a little bit of why I'm not too worried. So uh, first of all, the original failure, the helicopter successfully caught the rocket in midair after coming back from orbit, which is really an outstanding achievement to catch on your first attempt. It's really unbelievable when you think about it. Um, but what happened there was the rocket uh, didn't feel quite right to the helicopter pilot. The helicopter was behaving a little sluggishly, he felt, or maybe the wind was affecting it in ways he wasn't expecting. So he decided to drop the rocket back into the ocean for the sake of safety. So they took that data and uh, analyzed it, tried to figure out what was going on. Part of that was just giving the pilot some more training. Part of it is trying to uh, secure the parachute better so that the rocket isn't getting blown around quite so much and uh, it, it's safe to carry in the helicopter. And they really addressed that issue so it's no longer seen as a major concern. Now, on the second attempt, it was a completely different issue. What happened is that when the rocket re-enters the atmosphere, it's still going extremely quickly. And you have to remember, with other rockets like the Falcon 9, when they re-enter, they do a recovery burn, which basically slows it down so that it's not re-entering the atmosphere at such high, high speeds. With Electron, it's such a small rocket, they don't have any fuel left to do that burn to slow themselves down. So they're coming into the atmosphere at very high speeds. Luckily, uh, the carbon fiber composite can really handle it pretty well. They've made some upgrades to the rocket. But nevertheless, as it's re-entering, you're getting a lot of buildup, a lot of heat, a lot of plasma around the booster. And when this happens, you lose telemetry from the rocket. And what telemetry is, is basically a signal from the rocket uh, providing information about where exactly it is, how fast it's moving, all this stuff you really need to know to uh, lock down the position of the rocket. And they do expect to lose telemetry briefly during this re-entry due to all this heat and plasma buildup, but they generally reacquire telemetry once the rocket enters the atmosphere. That was the case for the first recovery attempt. Uh, unfortunately for the second one, they just didn't reacquire telemetry in time to confirm exactly where the rocket was. So as you can imagine, if you're a helicopter pilot flying around and you know there's a rocket plunging back into the atmosphere from above you, some Somewhere in the area, you want to make sure you know exactly where it is so it doesn't hit you from above and uh, cause a disaster. So since they didn't have that data, they decided it wouldn't be safe to proceed and they called off the recovery attempt. No fault to the pilot on this one and uh, it's not anything to do with the previous failure, which in my mind is a good thing. It's a completely different issue. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, please hit like and subscribe down below. It'll really help out the channel as I try to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. And uh, every single subscriber is very much appreciated. So now that we've identified the second uh, potential cause for failures, we're going to do some work to try and mitigate that, make it less likely to happen. We can see it already doesn't happen every time because the previous attempt, it didn't happen. And I'm sure with Rocket Lab's data, most times they have re-entry, uh, telemetry comes back in time. But maybe they'll be able to add some additional shielding, uh, do some other things to try and improve the signal and make sure they get it back in time in order to safely catch these boosters. So for that reason, once again, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, if we look at the only other company that's really successfully got reusability down for orbital class boosters, we're not talking about New Glenn here. Um, 
which is, of course, SpaceX's Falcon 9, uh, they had a whole host of failures over and over and over again before they finally had a success. But now that they did nail down that success, it's just every single time it, it's completely routine. You just expect a successful landing. But let's watch some of the early day attempts at trying to figure this out and what they had to go through, how many failures they experienced before they have the su success that they have today. So as you can see, uh, while you're working out the kinks in these systems, it's not unexpected at all to have these failures. And the only thing I would really be concerned about is if we have the same cause of a failure over and over again, and they just couldn't seem to resolve that issue, then I would start to get a little bit concerned. But with these issues, they each seem to have a different root cause. They've each been identified and they'll be able to uh, figure out how to mitigate those issues. Uh, I'm not yet concerned. It's only been two launches. Maybe if we're looking at eight or ten launches, they still haven't brought a booster back, then we can start talking about being a little bit worried. I think it's way too soon. Plus, uh, just listening to the team speak in the last earnings call, they're still extremely confident. Peter Beck just sounded like it was almost a done deal that they were going to be able to recover these boosters, um, and he is really not concerned at all. So, I know a lot of people are worried about the safety of this method for reusability and whether we should start worrying. Uh, I'm going to say not at all. That's just my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you at all concerned that this rocket cap catching method using a helicopter is not going to work out for Rocket Lab. I know it's a little bit different than how SpaceX is doing it. Do you think we're going to see more failures? Do you think the next attempt is going to be successful? Personally, if I have to put money on it, I would say the next attempt would be successful. I'd give it probably an 80% chance. Um, personally anyway, but uh, we'll probably have to wait a few months to see that next recovery attempt. I don't think it's going to be happening from the new launch pad in the United States. So uh, we'll wait and see, and I'll be sure to cover that for you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Invest safe out there, and I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.